Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. You're listening to The Shavon Show, and I'm your host, Shavon. We're here on WVTVN, the Women's Broadcast Television Network, and I am so excited about my guest today. She's got an amazing event coming up, and she's going to tell us all about it. So let me tell you a little bit about her. Mara B. Weinberg Kirk uh, is the Executive Director and Founder of the Symposium of Southern California. Help me welcome her, welcome her to the show. Welcome, um, Mara. So good to have you. Thank you so much, Shay. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, thank you. You know, we're going to dig right in to the, um, to the event coming up. But before that, I really want you to kind of share with us a little bit about growing up and what that was like. And um, how did you get to where you are today? Thank you. Well, I grew up in Southern California in the late 70s, and um, it was a great, great time. However, there wasn't much of a path, um, and I just really decided after college, when my parents said, you better find a job with benefits and health care, <laughs> don't come home, um, that I'd take a chance as a financial advisor uh, because we had a nice salary of 28000 back in 2000. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I've made my way in a male-dominated industry, and it became very apparent to me over the years that there needs to be a forum for discussion uh, for all women as it relates to financial independence, financial literacy, confidence in leading one's family or oneself, as, where, as well as STEM career awareness. Um, there wasn't much of mentorship going on for a lady like me at that time. And I really wanted to create uh, today, I just found it necessary to have a forum for discussion because us women, we learn best when we talk with each other. Not, we don't want to be sold to, we don't want to be talked down to, but we want to learn from one another. And so that's what the Women's Symposium of Southern California is all about. Well, we call you a CFP, Certified Financial Planner, which that st uh, stands for. And... Um, I know in conversations that we had prior to this, um, I was in that industry. And so back then, it really was a, a, a men's, um, you know, team. And, um, and it was difficult. There's no question about it. I was rookie of the year. And I just, you know, I just put it all out of my, my mind and I just worked hard and um, I just, it, you know, you just have to do what you can do and be who you are. And, and people will like you. And if you are good at what you're doing, they need your services. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, over the years, I found that being young and being a female, I felt that additional accreditations were needed to feel relevant or... Um, have the background. And so becoming a certified financial planner really sets aside um, myself from other financial professionals who really don't have any regulation that are typically sales versus a holistic planning style and uh, really doing the right thing. I do have a fiduciary duty, which is the highest standard um, in the financial planning profession. So exactly. I do want, it's my goal to recruit other women into, uh, to be certified financial planners. In 2014, um, Fidelity did a study that uh, women are actually very, very good at financial planning. In fact, um, I would dare to say a little bit better than men in the sense that we care. You can't teach men empathy and we naturally have that empathetic um, nurturing quality about us as women. Also, we are by far a little bit better multitaskers. And it doesn't mean that I'm saying women are better than men. We just have different skill sets that really allow women to align well with, uh, with the profession of, of financial planning. And I think it's the math or, or uh, maybe it's the stigma of Wall Street that has really turned women away from this profession, but I'm here to say it's a great one. You have flexibility, you can still have a family, and you'll be really good at it. So um, I'm hoping to entice more ladies into the profession as more women um, are the primary breadwinners of their family. And 
they are uh, business owners and have a lot of force here in, in the community as working moms or single moms or just working women who decide that I'm going to make $250,000 a year and I don't want a family. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a great, great thing and um, looking forward to helping those um, get into the profession as well as I've been fortunate to help so many families and individuals that specific to women, there's not enough resources for them. Um, in that same Fidelity study in 2014, and I keep going back to that because they are a company that has a lot of breadth and scope, and I'm not employed by them whatsoever, but um, they have the, the ability to touch a lot of families and do the, the research. And so uh, women are the financial decision makers 80% of the time, and yet the confidence that women have for managing money or dealing with money is well in the low teens. And so we have this big disconnect between women who are leading their families and making those financial decisions, but aren't confident about doing so. So how do we close that gap? And that's what the Women's Symposium of Southern California is, is here for, is to help with those educational resources, those best practices for every day with other professionals or women that have paved a way before them to learn. So. Sounds great, and certainly WBTVN and and, uh, and and myself are here to support that. And, Absolutely, thank yeah. you so much. And, and to drive traffic, because I think that this is something whether somebody wants to actually become, you know, a um, a, a CFP, that we're going to get a lot of information that is going to help them, and maybe even give them a wake up call as to the importance of at least knowing where your finances are, what they're invested in, uh, how the bills get paid. I mean, all of these things um, that they don't necessarily have to be, you know, come into the business to, to do that. This is, this is kind of a wake up call for everybody that financially doesn't feel comfortable, but really wants to, you know, to be, to have some knowledge and not to find themselves in a situation, you know, um, oh my gosh, now what do I do? Absolutely. It's, it's really about improving the quality of life, uh, the financial independence, um, and the confidence of all women here in Southern California. And it's my lifelong dream that, that we can take it across the country and around the world. <laughs> you know, what's cool, really cool, too, is that um, you are doing it on Women's Day, which is March 8th. International Women's Day, Absolutely. It's a, it's a day for actually, for us to remember um, what women have done before us. It's, it's a time for us to reflect on what we can do for ourselves and declare those bold actions and challenge ourselves to take new steps. Um, it's a day for awareness, for furthering the agenda, uh, for, for really uh, gender parity in so many different levels. And I feel like this is definitely aligned uh, with, with the core themes and values of International Women's Day. So we will be holding this annual symposium every year on March 8th. Okay, so <clears throat> interesting that it is, you know, on Women's Day. Um, and that day, as you've mentioned, is uh, March 8th, 2018, right now. And um, it's going to be from uh, five, uh, 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Absolutely. The other thing I think that so, I mean, we, we talk about the financial side of it, and they're going to actually see and hear all of that. But you've got other speakers that are going to be coming uh, with me, um, about um, empowerment and women standing together. And, uh, and they've got their own little messages and tips um, about life and about um, business, how to take your business, you know, to the next level. All of those kinds of things are going to be there in that short you know, it's from, from, from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock, there's so much that's going to be impacted. Uh, in Absolutely. We will have a general session. We are running five different topical breakout sessions, and we will be concluding in general session. I think innately there will be great time for networking and meeting others that are going through the same thing. Um, I believe that there will be different information for women at different levels of their life. I like to say if, um, if you're just uh, starting your career, 
you're at the beginning of the ladder or if you're at the end of your rope, there will be something to learn for everyone there. Uh, like you had mentioned from, from business planning uh, to, to basic and advanced financial planning and invest, investing, you know, what is the market? How do I achieve more with that if I already have a portfolio? Um, to what are my basic estate planning documents and real estate? What's that about? Is it my first, you know, home? Is it my second home? Is it a reverse mortgage? What does that mean to me? And is that suitable? Um, we will also be talking about balance of career and family life, whether you have children or, or you're independent. Yeah. Um, we will be talking about transitioning and reinventing yourself, whether you're widowed, divorced, finding a new career. What does that mean and what are some of the best tools and best practices? Right. I'm excited that we'll also be adding conversations about generations and how the different generations, whether it's baby boomers or millennials, how can we communicate better to uplift our communities together? Um, we also will be talking about um, probably a lot of what's been going on with sexual harassment in the workplace. Innately, those, um, those conversations are going to come out. And what do we do when we're confronted with those challenges and how do we keep our head high and, and deal with that going forward um, with confidence? So I think it's going to be a great program. We're going to have printed educational resources for everyone there on a plethora of topics. And I'm really, really excited for the second annual Women's Symposium of Southern California on March 8th. Uh, we are too, and I'll be there. I want everybody to know that. And one of the other uh, categories is entrepreneurship and really giving tips on, you know, if you've got an idea and you want to become a, you know, you want to jump into that because maybe you're tired of nine to five or whatever it happens to be. I had this, this desire and this idea about, you know, what you want to do, what you want to let the world know as far as your message is concerned. And you want to be able to connect with like-minded women and collaborate by making partnerships and, um, and just getting your mess message across. This is where, this is the uh, program that you should come to the event. And, and learn all that. And it's whether you, you know, are um, just starting out to get into it or if you're seasoned or even if you want to just take your business to the next level, um, this, is, this is where you should be. So uh, they, your website is, um, what's your website? I think it's... Um, uh, WSSoCal.org. That's WSSoCal.org. And uh, you can register for the event there. Um, it was my dream not to have any entries to barrier so every woman could attend. Uh, we are asking for a contribution to the cause of $50 per person, but it is not required to attend. And um, you can definitely register there. You can find some resources after the event. We will have PDFs of all the educational guides as you were saying, Shay, from uh, entrepreneurship to all the different topics we had previously mentioned. Yes. And, um, very, very excited for that. We're going to have at least uh, 30 different speakers and, and presenters in the program. Um, and they are different than what we had last year. Last year, we had 200 women, all word of mouth, all grassroots awareness. And Thank you so much, uh, Shay, for helping us with your sponsorships and getting the word out there. This is the first year we're really doing marketing, and uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. I hope that someday we are helping all women of Southern California. Yeah, you know, and, and it fits right in. I mean, we want to be there because we definitely believe that Women United are changing the world. And um, we do need to unite and just bring more people into that. Uh, and the other thing I want to make sure that uh, I mention is that it's going to be at the Marriott in Long Beach, California. And um, so all that uh, information is definitely online. And once again, on that website, it's wssocal.org.
And um, I want to just thank you from the bottom of my heart, girl, uh, for, being, for being on the show and doing what you're doing, putting yourself out there. And on the financial side of it, I think that's so important because people, all these women need it. And, um, and it's something that we should really embrace because um, at some point in time, even if it's not important to you right now, it will be. And um, so come and get some, you know, some, some free advice and tips on everything, entrepreneurship, uh, finances, uh, balancing your life, um, families, all of those things that are so important in our life and can make a, a difference in our life. So once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you to the audience for joining us today. And remember, I'll be here next week. And until that time, have a great day.
Great. Well, once again, thank you so much. I hope you come back and visit us again. Until the next time, everyone, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, uh, Timothy, so much. Thank you.